the coach with a real problem. Could the Packers regain the great strength necessary to win the NFC Central or Black and Blue Division? Bart Starr threw to Donnie Anderson for Green Bay's first first down of the year. Significantly, this did not occur until late in the third quarter, with Detroit already ahead 23 to nothing. The rest of the afternoon, the Lions' incredibly solid defense was ready and waiting for everything Bart Starr threw at them. Time and again, the Packer backs were swarmed under, at or behind the line of scrimmage. For most of the afternoon, the Packers could hardly manage to get off a punt. Former Bengal punter Dale Livingston, number 37, found himself ill-suited to his emergency role as a running back. But unbelievably, the wrath of some of the Green Bay crowd was directed at none other than their idol of the 60s, quarterback Bart Starr. Lem Barney's perfect interception touchdown helped to seal the doom of the Packers and their leader, Bart Starr. The NFC Central Division this year may have a new champion, led by number 19, Lion quarterback Bill Munson. Munson has a lot of help in his backfield. Number 42 is second year running back Alty Taylor, a speed burner from Utah State. Number 38 is Bill Triplett, an eight-year veteran from Miami of Ohio. For a passing target, Munson has at tight end one of the best in the game, Charlie Sanders, number 88. And flying from the midst of an excellent offensive line, one of the game's best running backs, Mel Farr, number 24. But the cruelest blow was dealt by young Greg Landry, number 11, who quarterback sneaks for 76 yards before winding down at the Packer 11. This year's Lions do not appear willing to settle for anything less than perfection. And last Sunday, they very nearly achieved it, as they dealt Green Bay its first shutout in more than a decade, 40 to nothing. Well, Pat, I was up at Lambeau Field and watched the Packers uh, really being ripped up by Detroit. And it's one of those pregame plans we talk so much about really working.